Hello my beautiful people, welcome to your weekly general taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these readings are for all of us. These are the general energies, trends and themes that we're likely to experience over the course of the week ahead. Uh, with that said, uh, all of this is obviously informed by my intuitive message. If you are a new subby, I just want to say a massive thank you so much for signing up and for, uh, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> and if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. And uh, thank you so much for being a part of the Radiant Nation. So this week's intuitive message is temporal shifts get weird. When I was feeling around into this this one, um, what I could see, the first thing that I saw was a giant clock. So I know straight away, okay, there's something to do with time, right? Uh, now, what was really strange was I couldn't see the numbers on the clock. It was just all blurry. And then like the clock just started to distort and everything. And what I understand about this is there's something weird happening with time, with timelines, personal timelines, personal temporal shifts. Time is going to be weird this week, right? You may, like this could be one of those times where maybe you leave the house, you give yourself plenty enough time and for some reason you still end up being late. Uh, maybe, you know, you think you're about to be late, you arrive 10 minutes early and you're like, there's no possible way that could happen. Time is going to be weird this week, right? So I'm just going to say whatever is going on up there or in the universe or whatever, like I was very, very clear about this. Like I said, I don't, I don't know what it is, but there's going to be some kind of weird temporal shift. So keep an eye out for that. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. They help us all on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So let's pop these uh, down for a moment and we'll get into your key to the week from the human design oracle deck which is <laughs> yeah of course the gate 60 and limits and the message behind this card is learning to work within the limits that are already imposed on you right so you see how the tree here uh, and you know as they say right as tall as a tree will grow is as deep as its roots will go now um with this card though one of the messages behind this is you learn how to transcend to grow tall or beyond right by truly understanding and working within the confines of the limits that hold you and so when we apply this to the context of the intuitive message if time is weird you might find this week that you feel that we all feel or that we all act a little bit more erratic than usual i don't need any help in that department um, <laughs> I, I jest i've actually got a lot better in uh, in my later years um up until about probably about 25 26 i was a bit of a card <laughs> feral is probably a better term <laughs> to describe uh, young raffi um so yeah i won't go into any of that but um now working within the confines of this this is about really understanding where you're at at this moment in time and more importantly where it is that you desire to be in order to traverse from here to there you're going to need to understand that time or the way that we understand things to move in a usual linear fashion is not going to be the case this week all right so you want to make sure if you've got journeys to make check and double check the route if you you know is your sat nav working are you getting good connection uh, is the place that you think uh, you're you're traveling to actually in the place that you think it is right all of that kind of stuff you've really got to figure out this this week uh, how to work within the confines of the time and what's really interesting is it's not a mercury retrograde because obviously at the moment we've got all planets direct but it may very well feel like one uh, there's something happening here with the way that the way that things usually flow is not how they're flowing at the moment all right now when it comes to our destiny energies we've got the four of swords this is a card of waiting patience and stillness Right. So there is a message already from, you know, the destiny, the overarching energies to say, 
hold your horses, take it slow this week, right? You've got the gate 60 limitations card. On top of that, we've got the justice card, right? So hold off on any commitments is the big message this week. You've got this with the king of pentacles. Now, um, this is a more challenging kind of message. And the reason being, the king of pentacles very often shows up as things like... Uh, um, it very often shows up as things like promotions, where you get some kind of big career advancement or movement forward, etc. And the challenge that you've got here is you're being told to hold off of a commitment. So when it comes to your work, your career, your profession or some big opportunity that shows up for you, there's two ways that you could see this. One of them would be you're going to have to learn to work with what is present, right? You're just going to have to learn to work with what is you have to find a way to work through this or to traverse it with all of all the, the challenges that it's going to come with. Another way that you could see this, though, on the other side of it is you would need to think about how you move. Um, like you need to think about whether this commitment really is the right one for you. So if your boss comes to you and says, oh, you know, um, we've got this job for you or we've got this job come up, this vacancy and, you know, it's more money. So straight away you're thinking, yeah, this is great, more money. They're even considering me for a different job. But then you start to learn about what that job entails, what it comes with, what challenges and issues and what basically bullshit you're going to have to put up with in order to take this job. Suddenly that commitment doesn't look as rosy as you thought it did. So this week, Four of Swords, wait, uh, justice card, commitment, before you make a commitment to any form of new, uh, new uh, work or profession, and it's the King of Pentacles, which is a money card as well, before you make any big financial commitment this week, really take a minute to understand what the limitations of it are going to be. All right, now, when it comes to our direction card, how do we best utilize this? Uh, also, I want to say on the wider world stage, this is likely to be a very big, very public figure. I have one specific person in mind uh, who is going to be very much under scrutiny and it will be about how this person has been using or spending uh, money that isn't necessarily theirs. All right, that is as much as I will say on that because I'll probably get myself into some trouble, uh, but you will see this this week. All right, now, when it comes to the, uh, the direction energies, we've got the 10 of wands. Know what to walk away from when the moment is right. That's the message here, right? That 10 of wands is a card of freedom, liberation, removal, release of burdens. Now, uh, you've got this with the three of swords, okay? And you've got this with the death card, right? So there's a few ways that this is going to show up. On the wider world stage, we're going to see a, a very prominent figure pass away, all right? I, I hope I'm wrong on that front, but we will. We'll see a very prominent figure. It'll be a man, and it will very likely be somebody that either works in the finance sector or somebody who is a very big head of dot 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 like this will be, it will be somebody that's very very well known whether they're very well missed or not is a completely different story uh now in terms of the three of swords with the death card that combination will speak to a literal death but we've got this with the ten of wands right and so on a more personal level this that release of a burden with the ten of wands the three of swords and then the death card there's a, a, a sense here that in order to kind of, by saying no to whatever this opportunity is, you might have a moment where you think, wow, I've really shot myself in the foot here. Let it settle, right? Let it settle. It's like, you know, when uh, they lay the foundations for a new patio, you have to let the ground settle. You can't just build straight over it. You have to let it all, because it's going to shift. It's going to change, right? So whatever opportunity you say no to here, whatever opportunity maybe is closed to you before you really have a chance to make up your mind about whether you do or don't want it, do not worry, do not panic, do not fret, because the chances are that what unfolds or comes from it after you will very quickly realise is actually either much better for you or... You hear from, you know, whoever steps into those shoes, etc. And you kind of realise like, actually, yeah, no, this was this was not the right step or the right move for me. 
All right. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week ahead. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.